I see people all the time on social media. How can I get a good texting service to integrate with planning center? And what should I choose? My church just happens to choose Clearstream to be that option. So we're going to show you today how to integrate planning center and Clearstream. Let's get it. Well, hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today, we're talking about Planning Center and Clearstream integration. Now, I know what you think. Why, why would you not choose something like Text and Church or the app Glue, G-L-O-O? -O? Uh, my church just has chosen Clearstream. We've used them for a while. Plus, honestly, we were grandfathered in with the five-digit code system. Today's world, you have to have a 10-digit code system. Uh, that five-digit code system is 94,000. It's shared amongst a lot of churches. And what we figured out with that is we had to put um, our CCW before everything that we came up with keywords. So we would make sure that our people get it. So what we're going to show you today again is exactly how we integrated this. The first thing is you have to have certain list in planning center. Okay. So we're going to show you how we do that here. Now you can create any kind of list that you want. Uh, doesn't matter what it is. And as long as you have that list, uh, you're good to go. Um, we have chosen, um, you'll see here, our first time visitor process goes through, um, our, our, Clearstream system, texting system. Um, it can be a form that we have. Uh, we have a guest connect card here that we've, we have people fill out. But ultimately, as long as you have a list, anything in that list can be integrated with Planning Center, okay? So now I'm gonna go over here to Clearstream and kind of show you how this works. So first things first, we wanna make sure that we set up our integration, okay? If we set up our integration properly, then uh, it, it will actually take whatever list that we want and that list will become whatever's getting sent out. So I can attach a message to it. I can do a, um, I can do a, a text, an email now. You can do things like that. So if I was to click view here, again, I already have mine connected. You'll have to connect yours. So once I connect this, you'll see all of the lists that you just saw over here here on Planning Center that I have chosen to sync up, all right? Um, you'll notice here at the top, again, we've got our first-time visitors workflow. We have students. We have our adult list. We've got kids list, so we can notify people of anything at any time, all right? Now, as long as you do that, again, you would just hit change. If you added a new list, once you hit change, you'll simply just search for that list, whatever that list might be called. Um, I can check the box. Let's assume that I want to do this, check this uh, one-way student check-in. I hit update. It will automatically refresh that, but then I have to sync it. So I'm not going to run the sync just for time's sake, but uh, I would click run sync and my list would be synced up. Now, cool thing about this is I can have based on my account and I'll show you here. Um, I have, we have just chosen to use the $99 a month account plan because we were, we were on a cheaper plan. Problem was you don't get as many monthly credits and we were, we were doing a lot of credits. And the reason we do a lot of credits, let, let me preface this. Our church is a size of between four and four fifty on average of Sunday. That's st adults and kids. Um, and we do three big community events a year. So we have this service set up so that we can notify people in the community about our events coming up every year. So that's the reason we have this, okay? You can change your plan. The good thing is you can also buy credits at any time you would like. doesn't matter. That's how the plan works, okay? You can also have sub-accounts depending on what you have. But based on the plan that I have, tells me what kind of keywords that I have. Now, you'll notice here at the bottom... We use this one for our three big events a year. So if someone uh, texts CCW show to 94,000, it automatically sends them a text based on whatever I have in here. And it asks them to register again. It's just a short link. It asks them to register for that specific event. As you can see, this event is closed. Um, if they were to go over here and text 90 CCW guest to 94,000, it will send them this text. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to walk you through exactly how this works. Okay. So on my text feature, if I go here and I add um, 94,000 and I text CCW guest, make sure it's all one word. Sometimes it puts it as two words with a space. As soon as I send that, it's going to send me a text right back that says, Hey, 
if you'll bring this information, fill this out, bring it to our welcome center, um, we have a free gift for you. So when they click on that, it just opens up the church center slash planning center form. That way, once the form is filled out, they automatically go into a workflow, okay? The workflow can not only be for planning center, but it can also come back across to Clearstream. So that's kind of how that works. Now, I'm going to take you back over here um, and show you not only do we have these keywords, um, you know, we've got all kinds of keywords, but any kind of message at any time that you want to send, okay? So you can set up recurring messages. Uh, you can send up, you can send out just schedule one. So if I was to go in here and choose one, I can add any header that I would like. Um, when I save it, I'm done. I can type my message out. If I do have a web link like the church at cw.com, and I want to shorten that link, I can just click here because the link's already too short. We'll add, um, we'll add this to it, see if it does it. Nope, not long enough. So probably because I don't have the HTTPS in there, honestly. But if I did that, it would, it would actually sync that up. Um, you can send emojis through here if you want, but I can send any list that I want. You can see if I was to choose this list, uh, I can send it now, I can send it later, or I can recur it. The good thing about this is I can recur this any date, start at any time. I can say, I want to send this out at once a week. I want to send this out three times a week. I want to send it every five days, whatever the case may be. We have these, again, put into a workflow system so that if someone was to send in that message, okay, let's say that they typed in the CCW guest, they filled out the form based on that, I can create automated workflows down here, all right? So we have automated workflows. Again, these are based off of a list that I've created in Planning Center. So if I was to choose the birthday text, it's going to send it out every day of the week at 8 o'clock telling them happy birthday. It's just a nice touch. It could be an anniversary, whatever the case may be. Um, if it's a first-time visitor that has filled this form out and they come back to this in-progress list of the first-time visitor, you'll see what we did here. You can set up an automation to show all these steps. That's the cool thing I like about this. So basically, they get this message, okay, from our pastor. If they were to click it, it takes them to a YouTube video, um, and it basically just says, thank you for being a you know, part of our church or whatever the case may be. Thank you for visiting. Um, and then it'll go to um, download our app after three days. Then it waits till Saturday, invites them again to church. Uh, it waits another three days, invites them to our midweek on Wednesday night for kids and students and Bible study. Um, and then it waits another two days and says, hey, we, do you want to attend our next steps class? So again, you can make this as much as you want. And you'll notice over here on the side, it's got all the different ways of those texts. So that's the cool thing about the way this works. So that is basically in a nutshell, exactly how we um, ha have done our system. Doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's wrong. But um, at the end of the day, you know, we just do this to try to reach our community for the love of Christ, and we really enjoy it. So until next time, thank you so much for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, like, subscribe, share this. It may impact someone else and help them in their church. We would appreciate it. See you next time.